evaluating his surroundings. Spring it off. Oh! He missed. He missed. Alec Price gets out of the way. He's going to try his own. Block Buster. Price now. He's going to try that gotch. Oh! Power ball. To end things here. Count of two. Not quite. Price now racking his brain. What is it going to take to keep Ortiz down? Didn't expect the snow last night. That shit's fun. Yuck. All right. I don't know if you guys know. Um, well, I don't know if this is a huge uh, chain, but in Auburn, there's a uh, sandwich shop called D'Angelo's. Um, way better than um, Subway. They do like steak, egg, and cheese, like chicken, like a bunch of that. Um, they have a sub called like the Thanksgiving dinner. It's like it's like turkey, gravy. Um, I don't know if they put potato on it, but stuffing, like all a bunch of that shit. Uh, I got myself a medium. It's called a uh, number nine, steak number nine. Has uh, steak, mushrooms, onions, uh, green peppers, and cheese. Uh, cost me about 13 bucks. And yeah, look at that. Oh, look how good that looks. You know, the best way to enjoy this is once you buy it, let it sit in the wrapper so it uh, absorbs all those juices. Mmm. So good. So good. 10 out of 10. Definitely check it out. There's a bunch of D'Angelo's around here. So good. Get yourself one. Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to the vlog. Now, I'm at the hotel again. I'm trying to hurry up and set up. Um, Levi Spade will be here in about 10 minutes. Um, doing a podcast today. It's going to be awesome. So I got to set up really quick. I'm going to shove a uh, pizza in there for him in the, in the oven. So he has something to eat. And uh, we're going to go from there. Like I said, I got nothing set up. I got to hurry up and set up before he gets here. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. So, see you guys in a bit. We are very fortunate as Limitless students that we have multiple trainers. We don't have one guy. We have different guys with different ideas. Like oh, my God. Eric's class is always different from I love uh, from Agro's class. Alexander's class I was one of the is different. When when I had started, um, three or four months into it, I was one of the first people to, to point that out to Randy and Ace one of the times we were sitting around shooting shit. I had pointed out that the reason I had loved the dojo is because at that time, uh, Eric wasn't training as much and uh, Alexander Lee had taken his time off. I, had, yeah, I didn't meet Alexander Lee until the uh, the Limitless show yeah. that, he, that he showed back up on. That was yeah. the first time I met him. Talked to him in the group chat, knew who he was, he knew who I was. First time I met him was at the yeah. Limitless show. Yeah. Um, but I was the first one to point out, one of the first ones to point out that our, that the school worked perfectly because Ace was all about conditioning. If Ace wasn't up, because Ace would be the blow-up drills, Ace would be the, the repeated repeat of the exact same drill until we get it 100%, um, which I looked at as conditioning. And when Ace would Ace stopped showing up, uh, I almost called him by a shoot name. Agro would be Agro <laughs> became uh, basics right. and conditioning. And then for Wednesdays, most of the time it was Randy doing. It was like right. an open ring type. But yeah. even then, Randy would be Wednesdays. Still blowing were, you up. And Wednesdays like that, yeah. were a lot of the days where I was running practice matches right. early, early right. on. Me and Hess were running practice matches because that's what. Because Randy would do that. That's what we did on Wednesdays. Right. We would do the rolls. We'd do whatever. I love those. And then we'd do practice yeah. matches. And then Thursday, you'd have fucking hyperactive DK come in like a fucking cat on steroids. <laughs> and you'd be sitting there stretching and then take a super kick or something like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> and fucking jump around like a goddamn crackhead. And <laughs> his is the advanced class. So DK was all about structure of the match and right. spots right. and this and that. And right. 
And I loved it because it was perfect. When Ace wouldn't show up, we'd have the extra stuff. And when Ace did show up, it was a little bit of everything. Because right. Ace just blended everything. Right. And then when Ace stopped showing up, to me, the three days that I was doing it was all I needed. Yeah. I had the basics and the conditioning going. I had the practice matches going. And then I had the advanced stuff that were making the practice matches and the basic stuff good. Right. So, um, I was thinking about something new. Um, new to do for miss myself i keep on going to these chain restaurants you know i'm always having applebee's or longhorns or 99 or whatever and i was thinking about you know what let me try something different let me try something new and i was thinking um you know what? there's a bunch of mom and pop stores uh restaurants around here to check them out to try them out so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try these out i'm gonna give you my uh my rating of how I think it's awesome, and maybe you guys go check them out. So I went to uh, Gippers, I think it is called, Gippers Sports uh, sports Bar, and I got myself a chicken quesadilla, the, the uh, it's called Super Bowl quesadilla, if I remember correctly, and I got myself, oh, that looks so good, a uh, Great Ski Burger, I think that's what it's called. It's a, a uh, teriyaki, Swiss, and onions, Oh, looks so good. Looks very good. I gotta say though, walking in was pretty cool. Um, you could definitely tell that the owners who owned the place loved uh, sports. Um, you know, a lot of sports, like Buffalo Wild Wings, like sports bars, um, they just throw shit up around just cause it's cool, whatever. This guy uh, had like a bunch of history, photos, signed autographs, shit like that. I thought it was pretty dope. Uh, customer service was awesome. Everybody was awesome and nice. Uh, smiles on everybody's faces. Looked like they enjoyed working there. So, I'm going to start off with the appetizer. We're going to go, let's see, we got lettuce, jalapenos, onion, uh, onions, tomatoes. I'm just going to do straight quesadilla. I'm going to start off with that. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Look at quesadilla. Um, I'm gonna add, uh, let's add some lettuce. Some lettuce, tomatoes, uh, onions. I'm not gonna do jalapenos because I don't wanna have my butthole burn. <laughs> so, try this. Mm, that's good. Let's see this. So this is blue cheese. Not a big fan of blue cheese, but we're gonna try it. Oh yeah, that's blue cheese. We're gonna try a big bite. Yeah, if you're a fan of blue cheese, that's for you. It's not for me. Also, uh, if you would, if I would have bought a drink, this would have been like thirty bucks. So this is pretty good price. Uh, I just tried this off camera because my wife called me. Oh my god, this shit's spicy. It's good though. Has a nice kick to it. Ooh, I don't know. This is their homemade salsa. Oh, ooh, that's a nice kick. Oh. Oh, well, cool. Oh, okay. I enjoy this without putting all that shit in there. But the scoop with all of it, too. So, I give this I give this a 7.5 out of 10. It's really good. First, I got coleslaw so let's try that first if i get it all in my mouth mm. that's good coleslaw that's coleslaw that's good that's good shit right there not store-bought doesn't taste like it legit coleslaw It looks like you got these little fries too. 
Mmm. That's fine. Right. No bad. There's no salt or anything on. So good. Now let's go with the burger. Burger looks really good. The teriyaki is really sweet. It's really nice. I like it. And you got the fried onions on top. And then tomato, onion, lettuce. Oh, it's really good. Um, Swiss is good. I might want to put like mushrooms on this too. Just to add the whole, the whole thing. But oh, this is good. And I asked for a medium well. A lot of times they fuck up and give you like a rare. No, this is perfect. This is going to be nice. Nice to meet you well. Oh, it's good. It's really good. I gave it a cold saw. 8 out of 10 because I like cold saw. French fries are like a 4 just because they're just regular five. And that burger is a nice 8. So it's good. If you're in the Auburn area, definitely check these guys out. Bring the family along. I bet you guys will enjoy it. Rafi, excuse me. I'm going to enjoy my food. Good? Happy birthday, kiddo. Happy birthday, kiddo.
like the weekend before Halloween, so Halloween was a Monday. Megan, you Look! Look here! fucking frustrated right now really fucking frustrated it is 9 30 and i drove from my house to here and all day i was processing the podcast i had it up already i was going to post it and then upon listening to it the audio was low i don't know why when recording it sounds fine when I'm listening to it, the playback sounds perfect. However, once it's recording, the audio goes down. So I noticed that before I posted it. I'm like, I'm not going to post this because you can't fucking hear it. You couldn't hear donkeys either. So I was like, okay, we're going to switch it up. I'm going to throw it in my editor. I'm going to um, up the audio. And you know what? I'm going to add some, you know, some buttons where you can see my name, like all my uh, social media, as well as Levi's. I thought it was a great idea. Took all fucking day. All fucking day to do this. I did it at about 11, started processing it. It's now 9, I got in here about 9 o'clock. Okay. Open up my laptop. Turn it on. Get ready to go. Fucking thing crashes. Lose everything. Everything. This has been going for over eight hours. So, back to square one. I've tried a different setting. So, it is now, like I just started this, it's at 11%. So, I'm hoping by 10.30, I, I took a nap today. So, thankfully. So, because I'm going to be dead ass tired tomorrow. Or I'm going to be dead ass tired regardless. I think that's what's gonna happen. Maybe I get lucky and I get back and this thing is almost done. All right, catch you guys in a bit. Oh, my stomach feels great. Fucking pre-workout C4 and freaking rotisserie chicken from noontime. It feels amazing in my tummy right now. Oh. So I'm at the gym right now. I'm at Planet Fitness because I wasn't gonna be able to make it to uh, practice tonight even though I wanted to so bad, but because of the massive storm coming Friday night into Saturday. I want to make sure that I'm up and going and done as fast as possible because that snow is going to be massive. Just Friday alone, just talking about 48 inches, four to eight inches. Saturday, I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the feet zone. I want to get done as fast as possible. And of course, Saturday, I got stuff that I have to do. I have to travel somewhere. Um, thankfully in the Bangor area, um, but still it's gonna be fun um, So I'm gonna get at least a little bit of workout in today um, I don't know where my other shoe is it disappeared um, It either fell out somewhere or it's in the car or at my house. I don't know. So I'm gonna have to use my wrestling shoes um, Which aren't good for running so I'm gonna have to do a light uh, cardio and my app says work on fucking legs but i'm not gonna do legs i'm probably gonna do uh lifts so yeah i'm gonna go look for that again really oh my freaking stomach is so upset right now that was not a good uh oh it's just ugh, just not good in my tummy it's uh uh going to do probably an hour maybe an hour and a half because i'm not gonna be able to run because my because wrestling shoes are not made for running so yeah and i hate that it gets dark so freaking early it's only fucking five o'clock uh 5 20 and it's dark so annoying i hate the winter time all right i'll see you guys in a bit Ah, 
after a nice workout, I'm gonna ruin it with some Chinese food. Um, I'm, it's right here, so I'm just gonna sit and wait. I'm not gonna come back out, so. It's about 15 minutes, it's a uh, China Walk. Um, very good restaurant, Chinese restaurant. Um, they're not open on Tuesdays, but the rest of the week they are, I believe. Very good feel, uh, food, nice people. So, I'm gonna grab that and then I'll bring it home. Well, bring it to the hotel. Uh, as always, I get way too much food. Yeah, so I got a D25. It comes with that, uh, all that. Ribs, uh, beef teriyaki, rice, chicken fingers. I added egg roll. I got a small order, well, large order of crab ragoons. And they have legit duck sauce. Like, not that crappy red crab. That's good duck sauce right there. Uh, 10 out of 10. This all shit's great. I'll chat with you guys later. So here's what's happening on the weather map tonight. We've got the snow breaking out in portions of New York State. Rain now pushing into the Connecticut shoreline. And all of this is gradually working its way in our direction. The primary low remains off to our west. And here's that secondary storm system that we talked about all week long. Does look as though it's going to bring this swath of moisture right up into our area. Storm center itself cuts up through Cape Cod, probably right down the Cape Cod Canal which is close enough to bring some heavy snow to the mountains and at the same time a little bit of warmer air coming in off the Gulf of Maine. Snowfall forecast now up in the mountains it's higher amounts but it's also going to be a slightly drier snow. This is that area of concern the 8 to 12 inch area and notice how the amounts really drop off 4 to 8 from Brunswick to Durham, back to Pownall and interior portions of Gorham and Wyndham. And then they drop right down to little or nothing at the water's edge where it's mostly rain. All right, I'm just getting to work. Um, I need to just power through. It's gonna be a shitty day today. I'm gonna be driving into snow. I know that for a fact. It's not snowing here yet, but I know I'm just gonna be driving right into that. Um, it's supposed to be one to three inches where I am for from Friday to s Sunday morning. However, it's supposed to rain Friday afternoon. I mean, uh, Saturday afternoon. So who knows how much snow there's going to be until the rain hits. So today I'm just going to power through, get everything done as fast as possible and get back here and then fucking go home. So that way I can hopefully get out of the store when it gets too too bad so yeah so it's gonna be fun welcome to maine i feel bad for uh people like above uh lewiston um they're getting like six to ten inches so but that was the model from last night it could have changed could, we could be getting slammed this weekend but we'll see if, if something changes i'll let you guys know all right i need to get going so i want to get this done have a good one guys this is what I have to do, because he's getting mad because he wants to eat it, but it's way too hot. Who's, who, who's the beetle? I feel like I know him. Uh, honestly, I think the beetle is is le legit the beetle. I don't think he has a different gimmick. Oh, okay, I feel like the jumping complete shot. What the? F I was gonna say, I feel like I know who that is. He looks very familiar. The hell? What menu is this? This is uh, Orna. Oh. <laughs> the venue getting... we can no longer get. Beatles getting fucked up. Oh yeah, it's false on anyway. I was like, this is not, why are they going outside? This is, it's. Yeah. Why is there just a random I was gonna ladder? Say, that, ladder that ladder was totally just there. <laughs> Our truth does it. And it's called Cold Little Jimmy. Yeet! Ow. That fucking hurt. What is any of this match currently? Where's Dr. Cube? He's inside. <laughs> He's chilling. Oh. Hey, wait, I know him. Oh. Why? <laughs> Legit gets hit by a car. Why? It's fucking effing. So I just realized that my boot uh, heel is starting to come off, and that's not a good thing, especially since we have some things to do today. Hopefully, even though the storm might be messing that up. So I uh, 
clamped it and then wrapped it with fucking uh, plumbing tape because I don't have anything else. But I think that's going to work. I don't think our ship that we have to do is later t until later tonight. So I'm hoping that this will dry enough, if not at least enough to where I can duct tape it when I get to the, uh, the dojo. Also, Levi's here. Fine, do. Uh, I'm pooped. Good night tonight. You guys know eventually. Aftermath from this weekend. I'm fucking sore. Uh, it's a great weekend at the dojo. I am fucking sore, especially what happened this morning. Um, right in front of the door, there's a lip for the trim, metal trim to separate the carpet from the vinyl. Um, and trying to go help out Carson, I walked over and caught it in my foot. So, yeah, I've been wrestling on that for today too. So it's been fucking ugh. So, um, I was gonna stay tonight at home. And just drive in the morning because I haven't seen my wife all weekend. Uh, however, it is still snowing. It was supposed to be done this morning. It is still snowing. And it is going to continue to snow until 1 o'clock this morning, if not later. So, that means I have to leave tonight. Because it's just not going to be safe for me to drive uh, first thing in the morning. So, um... Yeah, because I'm also going to have to leave, like, fucking, like, early, early. I'm going to have to leave by midnight, and it's just, I'm going to be exhausted, and that's not safe. So, I'm going to leave probably about 6, 7, and I'll probably get to the hotel by 10. I wouldn't be surprised, because the roads are probably shit down that way. So, yeah, um, like I said, great job at the dojo. Fucking loved it. Um, it was fun as fuck. It was awesome that, uh what rainy did like i said can't talk about it right now until uh, there's some shit about it so when there's shit about it i'll i'll discuss some shit so other than that it was fun it was great i guess i'll end the, the vlog here so like if you like the video subscribe to be part of the crew i don't know what i'm saying um <laughs> i have vlogs i have reaction videos i have um live streams at 8 30 uh podcasts here and there um and then you can follow me on my socials instagram tiktok twitter facebook discord other than that i'll see you guys in the next one